When COVID-19 hit in early 2020, cruise ships on the Great Lakes were put to a halt. But now, after two years, cruise ships are back up and running, with more to add to their fleet. A couple of these vessels, like the Viking Octantis, have already arrived at the Great Lakes, while others are still due to come. For a lot of these cruise ships, tickets are on sale now, but for the first few voyages, they're already sold out. And this just shows how much of a good economic impact it will have on the Great Lakes. Bringing in cruise ships will also bring in more tourists and, in turn, more money for different cities and ports along the Great Lakes. Some of the cruise ships still to come are the Ocean Explorer and its sister ships, the Hanseatic Inspiration, along with its other sister ships, and the Lee Dumont D'Urville with its sister ships. With new high demands for cruising on the Great Lakes, different ports are improving docking facility. Some of the destinations for these cruise ships will be Detroit, Alpena, Mackinac Island, Sault Ste. Marie, Duluth, Milwaukee, Cleveland, among many others. Most of these cruise ships hold between 200 and 400 passengers, but prices range from $5,000 to $20,000 per person. So yeah, if you were wondering, these are luxury cruises, they're extremely expensive, and as you would guess, no children are allowed on most of them. But like I said, that hasn't stopped a lot of people from scheduling trips. Because of a partnership between US and Canada, cruise ships are required to visit ports from each country on their voyage. This way, both countries are positively impacted by the new rise and demand for cruise ships. All in all, this will be a great economic boost for both the US and Canada, and certainly bring in more tourists. Aside from that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.